I value the small things in life. I value love and my family and my children. And I value more than anything the ability to live a normal life. I was diagnosed in 2013. Before I even had any um, mammograms, they'd already pulled us aside and said it was definitely cancer. And then finally we heard the news that uh, it, it had spread to some of my bones. You know, the four of us sort of holed up together and just a lot of crying and hugging and just dealing with it as best we can. When you get a diagnosis where you know it's unlikely you'll survive, I think everybody would think about the end. So then I started researching Dignitas as an option, um, along with various suicide options. You know, I did a lot of research and I decided I'm in the situation now where the only way I can have the end of life that I want would be through an assisted dying strategy. It took John a bit longer to understand why I was going to that place at that stage of treatment and the disease. When Christy began talking about assisted dying, I wasn't ready at all. I then began to put myself in her position and began to understand it more. I also began to see that towards the end of life, you would not want to be with those that you valued. With this loss of self-respect and dignity, that comes with intense pain or medication that takes you out of yourself. So what she's deciding to do is to, to leave the party early on terms where she can st still st I want to live as long as I can and I, you know, I love life and particularly my life. But when it comes to that point where I am ready to be in a hospice or something because I really am at the end of my life and very ill, that's the point where for me I would have so much reassurance by saying, okay, I love you all, I've had a wonderful life and now it's time to say goodbye. So as a consequence of that, I live every day thinking about the end of my life. When I discovered that assisted dying wasn't an option, I just felt that I was in a position to stand up and use my voice to just tell people. John has totally got, and is behind not only me, but the campaign as well, it matters. We all believe that choice should be there for terminally ill people. I think this will really help people heal a lot faster. So I, I think it will completely change the landscape of how people grieve. I want to carry on living as long as I possibly can and I will become terminally ill at some point and so I will be dying anyway and in the last weeks of my life when my health has really deteriorated I would really like the choice to say that's enough now, let me die, let me die my way.